Hey traders, in this video we're looking at synthetic long stock options position when you want to replicate being long stock in the options market. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Okay, so this is a synthetic long stock position in the options market. So if you wanted to replicate a long stock position using options, this is how you do it. Now, why on earth would you want to replicate a long stock position? Well, the big one is that this is cost less in terms of margin than buying the outright stock. The other what advantage of doing this is that you have flexibility by having options trades on means that you can adapt and adjust when you think that different things are going to happen. If you're long stock, all you can do is add more stock or take stock off, right? If you are uh, synthetically long stock with options, it means you can do different things like, hey, I can take off one, one leg of the options trade to create some other thesis that I think might occur now that different things have developed. We'll look at those in a second, but it gives you a bit more flexibility. So it's recreating exactly the same as if you were long the stock, but just in a different way. So let's have a look and see what's going on. So we would uh, to, to create a, a synthetic long stock, we would buy one at the money call and we'd sell one at the money put. So in other words, we're kind of negating the premium, but we're just having that naked value allowing us to make money uh, as the stock goes up. We're going to lose money if the stock goes down. Now, these are unlimited, just like a normal uh, stock long would be, unlimited risk and reward. So unlimited profits, but unlimited risk as well. So you've got to have some other risk management tool in place. Let's have a look how this would work out in a kind of a real life or hypothetical example uh, on stock XYZ. So let's say stock XYZ is currently trading at 40 bucks and we think it's going to go higher. So we put a synthetic long stock position on. Now, what we'd have to do is we'd sell a $40 put for $100 and we buy a $40 call for $150. Now, in this example, I've shown you hypothetically that the calls sometimes are more expensive than the puts. And this is a kind of real world example of why it costs you some money. In a real true hypothetical example, you will say that the, the call is the same price as the put. And if that is the case, then there's no additional cost to it other than having that synthetic long, synthetic short. But I want to point this out because actually very often this is the case. Uh, it does depend on the market conditions. Obviously, uh, people are scrambling for puts. It might be the other way around, but you know, generally this is the case. So uh, we bought uh, the $40 call for 150. So it's going to be trading at $1.50 and there's 100 shares in an options contract. It's us $150. But we've sold the $40 put for 100 so we've received $100 back. So it's cost us a debit, it's cost us, we paid out $50 for that deal. So what happens if we get to expiry and we're still at $40? Well, the put expires worthless, so we get the full $150 back, but so does the call, so we lose $150 on that. So the net on that is minus 50. Now, this is the hypothetical example. In reality, we're either going to be sitting here at 40 zero, if they were both the same price and we're selling one at the same price and buying one at the other at the same price, it's going to be zero. So I'm going to put that on the graph here, but in reality, it'd be minus, uh, minus 50 here on this example. Okay, what about $50? Great, we've made $10, that's what we wanted. What happens to the put? Well, the put expires worthless, that's okay. We've made $100 on that. Uh, what about the call? Well, the call has now got $1,000 worth of value, right? Because it's gone up by $10. And we've got one contract, one contract, 100 shares times by $10, $1,000. We, we paid $150 for that. So we've got to remember that that's only $850 profit, but we've got the extra additional profit from selling the put, $950 profit. So let's put ourselves here at $950 and let's put another one here at $1,002. Okay, just for hypothetical. So in our example here, but in reality, if we managed to sell them both at the same price, if we were there. So that's really what it's looking like now. So let's have a look and see what happens at $30. If we expire at $30, what happens to our put? So our put, a $40 put, has got $10 worth of value, right? Intrinsic value. Uh, and times by the 100 is 1,000. So $1,000 worth of value in that contract. The core is the right to buy something at 40. It's currently trading at 30. That's got no value at all. So unfortunately, we've lost... Um, 
we've lost 150 bucks on that. Uh, what about the put? Well, we've lost on the put as well. Um, yes, we sold it for 100, so we've got 100 back. Uh, it's 1,000. The, the, the actual contract's worth 1,000 now, so we've lost $900 on that, um, but we also lost $150 on that, which is $1,050, and you can see here. So if we went to 30, we'd be down here at minus 1,050. Now, of course, if they were symmetrical, uh, and it was $100, say, you wouldn't have lost any more than that. It would be $1,000. It would be $1,000 here and $1,000 there. So that's where you create a synthetic long stock. Now, the advantage you kind of have is that if at some point you thought that volatility was going to expand or you thought that um, you, you just wanted to have the call, you want to take the, 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 the put option off, you could close that and bring it on and off as you saw fit. So rather than just being the long stock, which doesn't give you much, much flexibility, this might give you some flexibility. And also you might trade into this. So let's say you have bought the call and now you think, hey, I've, I've got some uh, gain, um, we're at the money, maybe it was out of the money before we're at the money, but I still wanna be synthetically long stock. Let me sell the out of the money put to create then synthetic long stock without having to sell the call, buy the stock and do multiple transactions. So there's some reasons why you wanna do that. And obviously as well, the margin requirements for this are gonna be less than holding the actual stock. Anyway, that's synthetic long stock position, guys. See you next one, take care, bye-bye.